So chat GPT is like the hottest topic in the universe right now. Every single person that stops by the Twitch stream has a question about it. What is the future of programming going to look like as these AI tools start getting better and better and better? Copilot has been out for quite some time and I've been using it for over a month and I'll be releasing a video shortly on that one. So stay tuned for that one. Hit the sub button if you wanna be notified about that video. But for this one, I wanted to specifically look at chat GPT. So if you've never used it, you can just ask it anything or tell it to do pretty much anything and it will do it. Uh, draw an ASCII image of the primogen. I said almost anything, okay? It couldn't handle the speed needed for this. So how about this one? Write a haiku about Rust Lang and how safe and wonderful it is. Rust is strong and true, safe and wonderful to use, efficient and fast. It's like... That's like very true. All right, so let's ask it something a little bit better. How about this one? How do I move a div over one second across some amount of X axis, right? To move a div element across the x-axis over a period of one second, you can use CSS transitions. Here's an example. In this example, the div element will move 100 pixels to the right over a period of one second when the move class is added to it. You can adjust the duration and distance of the movement by modifying the transition and transform properties accordingly. I mean, like, that's pretty dang good. A lot of engineers have expressed that they're pretty dang worried about the future, about this. Is their craft going to become irrelevant? You see it all over on Twitter. So I have two recommendations that I think will be very helpful for you, your career moving forward with technology like this. First off, becoming a master at whatever you do is always the best option right now. The reason why I'm saying that is that very general, simple jobs such as adjusting colors, doing you know some basic looks or UX probably is going to be the first part of the industry that gets hit hardest by this technology. But those who have mastered their crafts, the ability to build large systems to be able to understand, you know, a, a huge portion of the stack is only going to benefit you longer because as these tools slowly transform into editors and hyperspeed your coding, your ability to move across several different environments will only be accented, not hurt. Second, the reality is, is that, yeah, these things are good, but you still have to prompt it. You still have to be able to use it. You still have to actually do something with it. And these examples seem really powerful and really, wow, this is very incredible, but it's still years away from being able to actually build and maintain products. That's a completely different kind of sphere. And so long as you have further and further mastery as these tools come out, it probably would be a good move if you're further into your career to actually try try out these tools to become good at them. If you've never used Copilot, maybe just give it a try for a month, two months, and really understand the pros and cons and how to use it well. Because I don't think these tools are going away. I only think we're going to have more of them in the future, and eventually they're going to reach a point where they're so useful that you will not be able to keep up with the kind of pace expected without them. So learn how to use them. Learn where they're strong, where they're weak. For me, I'm not afraid of them. I'm not afraid I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to continue doing the job I'm doing. I'm not afraid of losing my craft. I'm going to keep on getting better, learning new things. For me, I'm not afraid of the future of this technology because the scary part about AI is not in these type of things. These are like the great parts of AI, things that shortcut you to the answer, things that can make you better overall in a shorter period of time. You know, I say it all the time and I feel like I'm kind of a broken record, but become a master at your craft. Become great at what you do. I know there's tons of people that tell you you don't need to type well to be a good programmer. Oh, you don't need to memorize every API to be a good programmer. I'm going to be the one kind of shouting it out in opposition to that. Become a great typist. It will only help you. Learn how to be able to program without looking on Stack Overflow. It's going to help you. You're going to maintain flow states. You're going to be able to program longer and more efficiently. You're going to be able to see problems in a new way because you have such a breadth of knowledge of the tools that are available. And that's something that I'm not sure an AI-assisted tool is going to be able to replace easily. I hope you appreciate the video. The name is the Primogen.